Welcome back to useful vocabulary and phrases for common writing themes. This is part 5. Today we'll talk about topical vocabulary and useful phrases for the writing topics of debate elective. Let's begin. Argumentative essay when pointing out opposing arguments. Opponents. Opponents of this idea claim or maintain that those who disagree may say or may assert that some people may disagree with this idea. When stating specifically why they think like that, we can use they put forward this idea because or they claim that since. When we reach a turning point, we can use the following. However, but, on the other hand, when refuting the opposing idea, we may use the following strategies. Compromise, but prove that their argument is not powerful enough. So we can say that they have a point in thinking like that, or to a certain extent they are right. Or we can choose to completely disagree by saying, after seeing this evidence, there is no way we can agree with what they say. Or we can say that their argument is irrelevant to the topic. For example, what we are discussing here is not what they are trying to prove, or their argument is irrelevant. The following is a passage that demonstrates some of the terms that we learned above. Supporters of medical treatment argue that medicine should be trusted since it is effective and scientifically proven. We must admit that these methods are very effective in the samples that they provide. However, there are some everyday complaints such as back pains, headaches, insomnia, which are treated currently with medicine. Opponents of alternative healing methods also claim that serious illnesses such as HIV, AIDS, and cancer cannot be treated without drugs. They think so because their patients spend the rest of their lives in the hospital taking medicine. It is very unfortunate that these patients have to live in the hospital, losing their hair because of chemotherapy, losing weight because of the side effects of the medicine they take. Actually, it is common knowledge that except for when the cancer is diagnosed at an early stage, drugs also cannot treat AIDS or cancer. Most of the medicine these patients use are to ease the pain and their sufferings because of the medical treatment they undergo. Some people may still maintain that in our material world, everything depends on time. Having said these, resistance to Reiki would be quite illogical. Reiki is natural and drug-free. What is more, it is easy to learn by anyone regardless of age and experience. It can be used anywhere, anytime. It also enhances physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being and the benefits last a lifetime. It is definitely high time to get away from the drug boxes we store in our drug cabinet. Vocabulary on being strong or distinctive. Compelling, yan yan jimo. Having a powerful effect. Formidable, dai, Of great strength. Overpowering, a dosing. That is overcome by superior force. Persuasive, yao sui fuk lek. Able to convince someone to do something. Well-founded. Based on good reasons. Example. The alchemists did not have much compelling or persuasive explanation on how different matters have different properties. Modern scientists, however, have more formidable answers. They explain with well-founded theories, and sometimes their explanation is so overpowering that it can accurately predict future discoveries. Strong silent type, a reserved person who acts but hides his or her feeling. Example, Samson is a strong silent type. He always faces his challenges without saying a word. Chain is no stronger than its weakest link. A successful team has to rely on everybody in order to do well. For example, although Simon is injured, we cannot leave him alone. A chain is no stronger than its weakest link. Another example, George is completely out of shape. I don't want him on our ball team. A chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Vocabulary on being weak. Flimsy, dan bok dek, without material strength. Fragile, choyuyok dek, delicate, 
or easily broken, makeshift, 臨時搭建的 temporary, as a substitute, puny, 微不足道的 less than normal size and strength, wobbly, 搖晃的 shaky or unsteady. Example: A primary school collapsed in the earthquake. Investigators found its walls flimsy, the pillars puny, the ceiling fragile, and the floor wobbly. They seriously considered the collapsed structure was much weaker than their makeshift shelter. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Means one wants to do something but may not have the strength to do so. Tracy, do you want to go hiking with me to watch the sunrise? Peter, my spirit is willing, but my flesh is weak. Achilles' heel, a deadly weak spot. Example: A short battery life is often considered as the Achilles' heel of electric cars. Task one: Write the speech and ask the tutor to mark it for you. You are Chris Fu, the captain of your school's debating team. Your team is in the final of the inter-school debating competition, where you have been asked to argue in favor of the use of zoos as a way to protect endangered animals. Write your speech for the final, stating the argument that your team has to make and describing three reasons why zoos can be used to protect endangered animals. Following is an example. Good morning, everyone. My name is Chris Fu, and I'm the captain of the debating team for the Sha Tin Secondary School. Today, our team has been asked to argue in favor of the use of zoos as a way to protect endangered animals, and I'd like to start this debate by providing three excellent reasons. Why it's a good idea to protect endangered animals in this way. First, zoos provide a safe place for endangered animals to live. I think that it's fair to say that endangered animals face a number of life-threatening dangers in the wild. Otherwise, these animals wouldn't be endangered in the first place. For example, the areas where they usually live may be badly affected by pollution, or these areas may be destroyed completely because of the expansion of cities. Taking endangered animals out of unstable environments and putting them in zoos is definitely a positive step. Second, zoos allow people to help endangered animals to increase their numbers. Many animal experts and scientists work in zoos, and their main objective is to naturally raise the population of the various endangered subjects that are in their care. In the wild, many endangered animals are fighting a losing battle for survival. With the help of the people who work in zoos, these animals not only have a chance to survive, but they also have a chance for their young to return to the wild one day as animals that are no longer endangered. Finally, by using zoos as homes for endangered animals, we are ensuring that these animals never go extinct. If zoos weren't there to protect endangered animals, there isn't any doubt that many more endangered animals would already be extinct. In fact. It is actually because zoos have been long used as places for endangered animals to live that so many different animal species are still alive today. With global warming and pollution, the need for zoos to protect endangered animals in the upcoming years will only rise, not fall. To conclude, it's impossible to argue against the use of zoos to protect endangered animals. This is because zoos produce a living environment for endangered animals that is far safer than the places. In which these animals live in the wild, they also enabled endangered animals to increase their populations with the help of people who are dedicated to this cause, and ensure that endangered animals will never go extinct. Thank you for listening. Exercise: Write the following speech and ask your tutor to mark it for you. You are Chris Fu, the captain of your school's debating team. Your team is in the final of the inner school debating competition. Where you have been asked to argue in favor of the use of zoos as a way to protect endangered animals, write your speech for the final, stating the argument that your team has to make and describing three reasons why zoos can be used to protect endangered animals. You should write at least 400 words. Make sure that the three paragraphs of reasons contain some examples. Good luck with the writing, and I will talk to you next time. Bye bye.